I don't really have any words to say what I'm feeling right now. It hurts. It, I just don't, oh my God. Welcome back to the Pack One Podcast. My name's Caden, here to give you my week seven post-game reaction to the Green Bay Packers losing 23-21 to to the Washington Commanders and falling to 3-4 and four in which the last time Aaron Rodgers was under 500 at any point in his career was 2018. I, I would say I'm really upset, but I'm more or less having the feelings of not anger, but just straight up disappointment as that I knew going into this season, this team was not going to be good. But it doesn't account for the fact that it's just blown up in everyone's faces from the defense to the special teams to the offense playing like crap to play calling and technique. I, when everyone on, on Twitter and the fandom calls you out for doing something that you need to fix and then you don't fix it until what, week six? I mean, we were calling the whole offense out for trying to fix the offensive line. They finally fixed the offensive line. Look at that. Aaron Rodgers, I don't even think got sacked. He only got sacked like once during this game and had crazy good protection. Oh, we got to fix a play calling. Oh, we got to simplify things. That did jack shit. And then when we decide every single week, Aaron Jones gets not even 10 carries. Oh, we need to give Aaron Jones the ball. We need to give AJ Dillon the ball. And then it just absolutely don't give them the ball. It just hurts. It isn't, it, like, I know it sounds like anger, but it's frustration, hurt, and it just, it doesn't make any sense. And it falls all lean back on the coaching and management and staff, because you have all these problems that just seem, they just won't get fixed this year. Or when you finally decide to fix it, it's too fucking late. That's, it's literally all it. Going into this game, my expectations were, oh, we will probably win. The Commanders aren't the best. Yeah, they have some bright spots here and here, but we're going against a backup quarterback and a running back who was just shot. And yet you're telling me those two guys are the reason we lost this week. And not to mention the failure and execution of certain possessions and plays overall. I, I, I'll say the only exception is their defense. Even though they allowed certain plays, their asses were on there for the field for so long. I mean... They, they had so many chances to get intercepted. I mean, we did get a pick six. Thank God for Devondre Campbell. I mean, we got getting pressures, but Joe Barry in that play calling second half wise needs to get his shit figured out because it is unacceptable how our defense goes from playing like the best defense in the league in the first half to absolutely playing like we're nobodies. Like we're a D3 college football defense. And that's not even to mention the offense. Oh my God. I thought, Going into the offense, our our quarterback and O-line were the two things that were going to be probably set. And that our wide receivers, they're going to need to be tweaked. And our tight ends, so who knows? Oh my God. I cannot tell you the fact that Aaron Rodgers is just not it anymore. Yes, he made one really good impressive play to Aaron Jones later on in the game to almost have us come back. But holy God. It just frustrates the hell out of me. That my man only could throw it deep and then throws his guy off by 15 yards or only is going to do check downs or out in the flats. That needs to be fixed. That also falls on play calling. And, you know, everyone's saying we need to trade for this guy. We need. I don't think a single trade is going to fix this team. I, I, I'm i being completely honest here. I felt like if we need to trade with anyone, I felt like we were going to have to get an offensive lineman or even, like, another defensive player. I don't really think a wide receiver is going to solve our issues if Aaron Rodgers is just going to overthrow and underthrow everyone and then complain to those players being like, you're the fault, you're the reason. It's just unacceptable. Not even to mention Amari Rodgers. And holy shit, I love you, Amari, but you need to go. I am sick and tired of you fumbling the freaking football every other time you touch it or you run away. Just tell the coach, I don't want to be on special teams or just accepting to only be on offense. Stop saying, oh, I have the capability. And like, it is ridiculous. And I don't think you should be cut. I think you shouldn't be on special teams anymore and should probably be a backup receiver because this experiment needs to stop or he's going to cost us the games. It's unacceptable. 
this game was unacceptable. The play calling, the coaching, everything was unacceptable. And if our asses are losing to the Commanders, Jets, and Giants, fuck. I pray for this football team next week against the Bills. Because we're going to get our asses handed to out the fucking door. And we're going to get kicked to next season. Because I, I don't know what to say. Falling to three and four? It's just not... Expectations were low, but not this low. That's pretty much it to it. I, I It hurts. I don't know what more to say. It pisses me off that this coaching staff and team hasn't figured it out. And that I still have slight beliefs here and there, but they need to figure it out. Or this rest of the season is just going to be worthless. So, that's just completely it. I'm done for this. I don't even want to think about this team until Monday comes. I need my time to have personal thoughts and rest. Because I don't want to think about Aaron Rodgers playing like garbage again. Or even the matter of the fact that Amari Rodgers has to touch the ball again on special teams. So, that's everything. I hate the way this team is coached. I still love this team. I will still believe in them. But my fucking God, if if we do not solve these issues, I'm going to lose my absolute mind. So next week, I'm going to have low expectations for the Bills game. We're probably going to lose, but I'm going to be hopeful that we may win. So happily, everyone there watching, enjoy your Sunday. If you'd like to follow me, you could follow me anywhere on here. And have a great next week and weekend. Go Pack Go!